Hey yo, what's up? Maja here and welcome to another Wednesday Night Review and today we are finally here with the debut of Eyelid. So, uh, first of all, uh, I did a reaction last year to Are You Next? And yeah, we followed the whole show, uh, got to know uh, the contestants and who the eventual members would be for the final group of Are You Next? And yeah, uh, we have now been waiting since the finale of Are You Next for Eyelid to debut. Uh, sad to say though, out of the six who uh, got into the final group, well, we now have one missing. So, oh, well, not missing, but like one who has uh, left the group. So Youngso is not part of this group anymore. Um, but as I understand it, the the split was like uh, in cons consideration of what Youngso wanted in in, uh, in terms of her own path in life, right? So I wish her all the best. And well, uh, at least we still have well the other five were here and. Uh, we'll we're finally gonna get to see them debut as a group. So we have Minju, Yuna, Wonhi, Mocha, and Iroha. So what else can I say? Let's get right into it and let's check out what Islet has in store for us with Magnetic. Here we go. One he opening. <laughs> mm. We're getting right into it. Oh, what's Iroha doing? Just like a Matilda situation. Ooh. Oh. That gave me chills. This is both like groovy and dreamy at the same time. Wow. Oh. I'm liking this. MBTI. Mm. Oh. Oh. I'm really liking this chorus. So catchy. Ooh. Oh. Just punch through the wall like that. This time I want Oh, I really love one his vocals. <laughs> it's a very ticklish chorus. Oh, that felt like it ended too quickly.
தமிழ் மூவி ஓகே ஸோ தட் வாஸ் ஐலெட் வித் மக்னெட்டிக் அண்ட் வாவ் தட் வாஸ் அ பாப் லைக் a literal bop with the you 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 in the chorus and it's just it did feel very magnetic like it draws you in a lot but aside from the chorus you get this very uh bouncy verses as well and it's it's kind of It's kind of intriguing the way that you get this very like groovy rhythmic beats going on but at the same time you get this like ethereal dreamy feeling to the song and it feels like they should contrast but it actually doesn't it just gives this like unique feel uh throughout the whole song so wow i'm glad they're starting things off with this this seems like a very nice debut and it gives them this sort of identity that's just a little bit different from uh anything that i'm listening to in k-pop right now Yeah. This is a sound that's not quite like anything on my playlist. It's a dreamy track, but it's bouncy as well. Like I don't quite know how to place it. But yeah, one thing is for sure, it's very addictive to listen to. like when it ended there it felt it kind of felt abrupt and i wanted to like listen to like more of the chorus and then concept wise <laughs> i was too caught up in the song to pay too much attention to the mv but it seemed like they had some like powers going on in there the scene with iroha in the starting uh near the starting was kind of giving me giving me like matilda vibes especially since her hair in that scene was a little bit messy i don't know if that was the intention uh but yeah and then throughout throughout the mv we get a lot of these weird scene changes like abrupt scene changes and so for me that kind of fits as well with the with the dream kind of vibe which is like like when you're dreaming uh you're not really aware of the transitions so that's how it felt with me because like i wasn't that aware of the transitions um because i was too immersed in the music but now that i'm thinking back on it yeah the scenes were flitting from like through different through various things and uh that to me it seems quite like a dream sequence so it's only upon like looking back at it that i that i notice it so wow uh nice that they're able to pull that off or at the very least that uh it was able to work on me at least uh hopefully a bunch of other people will get that experience as well it's very trippy when you realize it after the fact but uh i feel like it gives all the more uh 
Oh, what do you call that? Um, it gives more. What do you call this? Uh, impact to the concept that they're trying to pull off. So yeah, we got uh, a really great debut from Islet over here. I'm not sure about the distribution of screen time and lines. Uh, not really. I don't really keep track of those, but sometimes I do mention like which member had the most impact on me uh, in an MV, and for this one. It's one he. So I'm not sure if she got more screen time or lesser screen time. Uh, like I said, I don't keep track. But the times when she had screen time were probably the most impactful ones for me. And uh, that's what I say in other reaction videos as well. That sometimes it doesn't matter about the amount of screen time. But... Or not necessarily amount of screen time, but amount of center time. Uh, for me, it's more important that uh, if you make an impact when you're in the center. Right. And for me, in this particular MV, it was Wonhee. Uh, Wonhee was like a really, really new trainee when she started out in Are You Next? And she's, she has come such a long way since then. Like, she she improved a lot throughout throughout the show, throughout Are You Next? But uh, you can see over here that she has also come a long way since the finale of Are You Next? So I'm... Uh, so... It looks like they've been using their time productively to prepare for this debut. And um, yeah, uh, one he is really <laughs> there's really something about her that uh, draws you in that makes you like her. It's probably why she was one of the most popular contestants on Arya Next. Actually, she probably was the most popular contestant on Arya Next, given that she won first place through voting. So, yeah. Um, but she, yeah, like I said, she has made a lot of progress. Uh, and she just has so much potential. And from this, I know she still has some room to to grow a little bit more I actually uh, there's actually one scene where I felt like her timing was a bit off like in the video compared to the music uh, what scene was that like like when she was when they were doing like dress up in the closet yeah and she was wearing that horizontal striped shirt Somehow it didn't feel like it was in time to the music. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Uh, the point I'm making is it didn't feel that way to me. Um, so, might have been something with the video editing. Or might have been something with... Uh, it's probably the video editing and directing. Something they probably didn't catch in post-production and didn't bother to reshoot or maybe the timing was correct and i'm just imagining things but uh yeah let's i w actually want to review that part a little bit more i think it was this one Okay, I might just be imagining things. Just felt like she was off for like a fraction of a second there. Um, 
yeah <laughs> I, I don't know but already yeah she's she's already doing such a great job and like i said uh she's still quite new uh to the industry and there is a lot of room for her to grow and uh we can see we not we can see but we already saw in aryan x that she has that drive to really improve uh, uh throughout every step of the way in uh in in the show like and the rate of her improvement was really really great really astounding so i have uh the utmost faith in her that uh she's only gonna get better and better uh moving forward anyways yeah uh what else can i say about this song i feel like we've though uh dwelled on the one he topic a bit too long mm. as for my bias in this group i'm not quite sure i'm kind of pinging back and forth between iroha and mocha i think iroha was probably my favorite during are you next uh, but uh i've been coming to like mocha more and more so as for who will end up being my actual bias in this group it it will probably be one of the two of them and the other will be the bias tracker but yeah uh for now i'm leaving it up in the air uh hoping to see much more from eyelid I'll probably be starting on the on their uh, mini series, uh, their pre debut mi mini series tomorrow on Patreon. The one called Eyelid Ready. So yeah, uh, I'll be I'll be checking that out on Patreon uh, in my Thursday evening slot. So we'll stay tuned for that. Um. Yeah, I think that's it for Eyelid's Magnetic MV. We'll wrap it up here. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, feel free to check out my Patreon, where I also post reactions to longer form content, more casual content, most of which is available for free. You can probably see the ads pop up here on the side. There's also some bonus stuff, stuff set aside for those who are kind enough to subscribe, such as reactions to K-drama and anime. And even Avatar The Last Airbender live action. So uh, that's available for tier 1 of my Patreon. Which incidentally has a 7 day free trial. So you can check it out for free for 7 days. So you might want to try that out. Uh, higher tiers of my Patreon get early access to record raw recordings of my reaction videos. And priority when it comes to recommendations but don't get too fussed about all that like i said most of the stuff on my patreon is available for free so don't be afraid to check it out the link to my patreon is in the description down below as well as a link to a spreadsheet where you can more easily navigate and access the free content on my patreon where uh so you might want to start with that that's also in the description down below anyways thank you so much for watching thank you so much for joining me in this very uh dreamy and enchanting journey with eyelid until next time have a great day everyone and hope to see you guys in the next video bye for now <laughs>